Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, where today we're going to my favorite all-you-can-eat sushi. Yes, in my opinion, the best all-you-can-eat sushi in the world, at least that I have ever been to. And yes, I'm dead serious. I enjoy this so much. We're going to go crush some sushi, guys. I'm talking unlimited sashimi. I'm talking unlimited maki rolls. I'm talking unlimited nigiri. This is going to be freaking awesome. There's going to be so much food, so much sushi. I am so pumped. I used to go to this place. It's called Mizu. It is in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I used to go to their old location for like a, every day a week for years. It's like I said, my favorite, my favorite place. I love this place. I don't live in the area anymore, but now that I'm back, I'm going to the new location. So let's go have some fun. Let's eat some food. Let's have some sushi. It's been a very long time since we did an all you can eat sushi. So with that, let's get eating. All right, everyone, so super excited. So we did get in here, we got some sushi. I'm so pumped, guys. It's been like, it's been a long time since I've done an all you can eat sushi. And if you can't tell, I'm very, very excited. So, and at Mizu, again, I have long standing history at this place. I used to to come to the other location like just like I don't know once a week for like forever for like almost like a year or a couple years I would went as many times as I could so to start we have some red tuna sushi I have some salmon sushi nigiri in other words I have the avocado nigiri I have some white tuna some salmon some crab and one piece of snapper sashimi so I also have some kimchi I also have a green salad. Fun fact, you have to order the green salad and the kimchi, it's not on the menu. And some edamame. So round one, let's get this down. And we also have round two coming, there's gonna be some rolls. Uh, but yeah, guys, so we'll take this round by round. So round one, 20 pieces. Round one, fight. So I got some soy sauce, I got some ginger, uh, wasabi, I love all those things. I'm actually gonna probably start with, uh, I'll, try the, um, I'll try the kimchi first. Good actually, spicy. I just got out of the gym and I had to wait a while, so I'm pretty hungry. I'll put the gym footage there for you to watch, of course. So you better watch the end of the video. Very delicious. Get a green salad, gotta start with the healthy greens. They put a sweet mayonnaise dressing on that. Very flavorful. And some edamame. I do like me some edamame. Salted edam edamame. Delicious. Yeah, I'm hungry guys. I'm super excited. I didn't intend to eat all that amame, but we did. So, I'll put that aside. And now let's get to the sushi. I also have the biggest dish of soy sauce ever. So I'm gonna start with a piece of this white tuna. Now I understand white tuna is not really white tuna. But some fish starts with an E. I think they'll call this maybe butterfish also, something like that. But great tasting. Man, I love it in that soy, that. Mm. Ooh mm. That salmon. That salmon's pretty dang good, guys. Mm. Put this on the same side. Ergonomics. What I love to do, a piece of sashimi with an avocado nigiri. Mix it together. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, that is damn good. Get some wasabi action going here. And why I like to do that, I just love, love, love the creaminess. Oh, the avocado offers. Oh man, we have wasabi. Ooh, beautiful. That was a snapper. Snapper is good. Crab sashimi, a little crab stick. Not bad. Salmon gear is nice. Tuna's not bad. Tuna gear. I love wasabi. And I like ginger. Ooh. 
Woo, woo, woo. That's that wasabi, guys. Woo. I feel that. Mm. All right, round one, complete. Round two, let's go. Round two, fight. So now we got round two on the way. Look at this beautiful round two. That is a, that is an awesome looking round two. All right guys, so round two, super excited. So this is part of the reason that I've, like one I have favorited Mizu for so, so, so long is the spicy salmon roll and the spicy tuna roll. Why? Let me show you, I'm gonna pick it up. Okay, so in here, in the traditional spicy tuna and salmon roll, they have the fish, they have the avocado, they have crunchy bits, and then they put the spicy mayonnaise on top. So usually when I go to places, it's like a spicy salmon doesn't have avocado or crispy bits in it. And you know, you can kind of like pick one or the other, but this guy's, this combo is so, so, so delicious. It is rich, it is super savory, it is so delicious, so flavorful. Like I said, big fan, big fan. So I got 30 pieces here. First round was 20, 30, 50 pieces. And then I also got what they have a pink lady roll, which I really like the pink lady roll. So we have a crab inside, like a crab salad. I think there's a little bit of spicy mayonnaise in there, some crispy bits and the smoked salmon on top. Mm -mm. Woo-wee! Oh man. That smoked salmon is so dang good. Spicy avocado roll. Mm. Mm. Spicy salmon roll on me. Oh gosh. Okay, everybody. Mm. That is the money. Right there. Such a good portion of tuna. Salmon. Mm. We're sure on the bottom. Mm. That was a tuna, very, very good. Just look at that, guys. Great portions of each. Oh man, but that flavor. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So rich, so savory. I have never had better spicy avocado rolls or spicy tuna rolls. That combo. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. That pink lady roll ain't nothing to sleep on either. Good bits of wasabi. I know the ginger's there for a palate cleanser, but I actually like to include it in my bites. I love the flavor of it. And those who ask me why don't I mix wasabi in the soy sauce, because that's the size of pieces I like to eat. If I mix it in the soy sauce, it's just not this, you know, it's just not enough. Mm. Oh man, that is so good. But of course, all the avocado, the mayonnaise, whatever, it is very rich, but again, great size roll. That's tuna. Salmon. Man, that's so good. Yeah, that pink lady roll, that smoked salmon. Comparatively though, even though I'd say it's like a heavier, richer roll, compared to those avocado and tuna rolls, it seems lighter. Mm. Alright guys, round two, complete it. 50 rolls, let's go for round three. Round three, fight. Hi everyone, so we have now at round three, yes, round three. So for round three, we got 40 pieces, that's right. We had 20, then we had 30, then we have 40. So 40 pieces, guys, so here we have some more of the delicious spicy avocado salmon, or basically the spicy salmon roll. We have some more of the spicy tuna rolls. And here I got a red dragon roll in the middle. Red dragon roll, which is basically a, uh, I think it's a California roll, if I'm not mistaken, California roll, with the uh, salmon on top. And then we have some spicy salmon sushi, or spicy salmon nigiri, this is the way they do it. So they put a, a rice in the bottom, seaweed wrap, spicy salmon, with the spicy mayo and then the crispy bits in there. Really good looking portion. Then I have a whole bunch of the, uh, they're all in like a, 
rose, I guess you could say. I got the salmon sashimi. Also have some white tuna sashimi again, and some snapper sashimi. So this is getting, we're getting pretty monstrous here. I re-upped on the ginger and wasabi. Whew, I'll tell you, I'm filling up, guys. We are, uh, it's been a long time since I've eaten everything, and we're already 50 pieces in, 50 pieces. This would bring us to 90, 90 pieces. So whew, fingers crossed, wishes luck, especially with how big and substantial. Like, can you see how big these freaking rolls are? These are literally like just giant, 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 massive rolls. Now we'll try the spicy salmon uh, nigiri, which I haven't had yet. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh -wee. Another one of my all time favorites. So good. I went to the other location. I was going there like uh, for years, like I said, and like far beyond YouTube, far beyond when I just ate a lot of food, far beyond, I always ate a lot of food, let's be honest. Actually, honestly, when I go there every week, arguably you call it like my cheat meal, I'd probably average like 70 or 80 pieces. And again, that's with like no video, no competitive eating. That was just my jam. I love to go, you know, indulge in some sushi. Mm. Sashimi is still, still very, very good. That's two pieces of snapper. And they have the, uh, the iPad ordering system, which I really like. So you can basically just at any point, just, you know, select what you want from like the different categories, sushi, sashimi, nigiri, Pizza, you know, like sushi pizzas. They have uh, different rolls, of course. They have, uh, actually have some like pad thai. They have some other, they call them wok dishes, where like, I just grab more like Chinese, kind of like a, a beef and broccoli. They have some udon, some ramen dishes. I'm not much of a noodle person. I'd rather have my, my uh, sushi. Let's try. The red dragon roll. But I expect temporary shrimp, cucumber avocado. I guess eel sauce on the uh, sushi. That's another huge roll. So we're gonna have some more of the spicy salmon. What's the salmon? And tuna. There's tuna. Well, they're very good. Yeah, like I said, all time favorite. Spicy salmon rolls. All time favorite, spicy tuna rolls. But of course, like it is a little different. You know what I mean? Like, if you wanted a, a roll with just the spicy salmon in it, just the salmon basically and some spicy mayonnaise, it's obviously not what it is. But for what it is, it is basically a combination of a spicy tuna roll, spicy avocado roll, Spicy crispy roll, or you know, all of the above. And like I said, just, like look at that, there's two pieces of freaking tuna in that. Man, the, the fucking, excuse my language, the portions, the portions are really good. But rich and heavy. That's some hot water and some cold water. I find all the soy sauce I use, it makes me really thirsty. But if I drink just the straight cold water, then I get cold. Man, I just can't believe how, can't get over how big that is. All right, round three complete. 90 pieces in, woo. 
That was delicious though, guys. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I actually have not done an all-you-can-eat sushi video in over a year. Over a year. The last time I did one actually was here. I've done some other like really big uh, sushi videos, but never an all-you-can-eat in literally over a year, everybody. So that's crazy. So glad to be back, and it is just as good as I remember. Just as good as I remember. Round four, fight. All right, we're coming on round four, everybody. So round four, we got, well, if we had 20, 30, 40 pieces, next would be 20 again. I'm not doing 50 pieces at this point. would be a little, it would be a lot. But plus, I, I also just kind of went with what I wanted. So I got some more uh, salmon sashimi. Big, nice chunks of that for sure. And here we got some other delicious and crazy looking rolls. So I have two barbecue eel sushi. I then have four spicy crab sushi. We haven't really had the spicy crab yet. We have two regular salmon sushi. We have four avocado sushi. And again, here they use the term sushi, nigiri, it's interchangeable. And then four spicy salmon nigiri slash sushi. Woo! All right, lots of food, everybody. I'm filling up, that's for sure. But this brings us to, I guess it'd be 110 pieces. All right, I'm gonna try a couple of these and then let's put them for round five. Um, sometimes, you know, some of the items I want to kind of wait and see if what it tastes like, if I'm enjoying it. Some days, you know, you're feeling something more than others, which is nice to not come here to the all-you-can-eat, you have the variety, so spicy crab. Not bad. It's rice, sushi wrap, spicy crab. Barbecue yellow roll. Not bad, not bad. Very rich. I mean, in general, let's be honest, a lot of items I chose are very rich. But they are delicious. Let's do a salmon sashimi avocado sushi combo. Very good. Salmon sushi. Spicy salmon sushi. Woo! That was good. Rich, but damn good. I tell ya. I know it's the sodium, the carbs, the MSG, but... I'm starting to feel the food, everybody. I've been eating for about an hour. Speaking of which, Let's get that out of the order. I don't know everybody. Can we handle 6, 12, 24? Can we handle 28 pieces? Let's do it. This is gonna be interesting. We're getting into some uncharted territory and I ordered a miso soup as well. So I, I don't really know if you wanna consider that a piece or not, but whew, dear God, all right. Well, this is, uh, this is I, like I said, I feel full already. So this is gonna be interesting, everybody. We're definitely going into some, some big food territory. Whew. But yeah, this basically, the way you do that, it's like a super sushi. That's what I'm calling it, super sushi. And that's a whole bottle of soy sauce. Whew. Really digging these today. The spicy salmon sushi or nigiri, whatever you want to call them. Like I said, obviously I've been choosing a lot of the rich items. Um, not like intentionally though. Just kind of like that's what I've been digging, that's what I'm feeling, that's what I'm enjoying. Um, very good. Very good, everybody, so far. So, all right, we're coming in for round, I think five, I don't know, five or six, whatever's coming our way. Thank you. In fact, here's our miso soup. Round five, fight. That was quick. Mm. Oh, do you like miso soup? This will warm us up. Not that I'm cold right now, I'm pretty hot. 
Oof. It's good though. That's one way to do it. Everyone is starting these next rounds, but quickly, let me know. Comment down below your favorite type of sushi. Whether it be like, maybe it's a spicy salmon roll, like me, it's definitely one of my favorite. Maybe it's some salmon sashimi, I don't know. Maybe you don't even like sushi. Just comment, then you don't like sushi. But comment down below your favorite type of sushi right now. All right, and we're, about, we're getting on to round five. I don't even think like in Mortal Kombat, you know, there's like round one, round two, round three. Now we're on round five. There you go, I did it for us. Okay, so I switched up a little bit for this last round because I want it to, like I said, I, I noticed a lot of things are savory. I want to kind of break it up a little bit. So I have a, well, it's it's savory again. But anyway, I have the, another pink lady roll. It's been a while since I had one of those. I had, I ordered a peanut avocado roll. Yes, peanut avocado roll. It's actually really, really delicious. Again, something that I ordered, thumbnail. A long time ago, what we do so frequently. Then I have a, uh, so basically it's avocado with candied like honey roasted peanuts in it. It's very, very good actually. Um, we then have a mango strawberry roll. Yes, mango strawberry roll and a mango banana roll. So literally the uh, contents are the crispy tempura bits. Then we have a banana and or a mango. I'll start with, yeah, I'll start with uh, these pink lady rolls and then I'll move to the other ones. Thank you. And the spicy salmon. Sushi. Yeah, I really like the flavor of that smoked salmon. There's actually crispy bits in with the crab as well. Definitely filling up though, everybody. Definitely filling up. So we do have the spicy salmon sushi. I'm gonna try some of these like, sweeter, more options. Again, these aren't considered desserts, but I consider these more desserty. As again, they're like. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Woo wee. Damn it, good. So like I said, honey roasted peanuts, which are delicious. Yeah, that's a good one to show you. There's some avocado in there. Believe it or not, it goes really well with the like seaweed and the soy sauce. I mean, think about it. It's a sweet peanut, and you're making it a sweet and salty peanut. Duh. I like that a lot. That was as good as I remember. All right, let's try the um, mango strawberry roll. Honestly, how can you get around? It's mangoes and strawberries. They definitely put a little bit of like a sweet syrup in there as well. It's not a mango sauce. So a lot of places I go to sometimes will have like a mango roll or mango avocado roll, mango salmon roll, but they put that thick orange mango sauce on it, and I don't like that. This is perfect. It's even good in the soy. So I'm filling up everybody. So now the banana mango roll, banana, banana strawberry. It's not as sweet as the mango roll. All right, well, I'm pretty sure I have 138 pieces. So I feel we should round that. So I guess 150. So now, remember, the guy did say they had um, dessert or ice cream off the menu. They used to, at the old location, do deep fried tempura bananas, which is served with ice cream and chocolate sauce. And those are really good. I don't know if they have those or not. I right, finish these up. So yeah, the uh, I'm enjoying the Strawberry mango one a bit better. The banana's just not super ripe.
I know people say they see start seeing stars. Well, I'm seeing sushi, or maybe I'm seeing sodium. One or the other. I'm seeing something. Mm. And MSG. But no, seriously, guys, everything's been fantastic. I have no complaints. You know what's really, really nice right now? Some of that kimchi or the, one of those green salads I had earlier. Uh, and for the record, how long have we been eating for? We've been eating for... I think it was about two when we started, so maybe like an hour and 16 minutes. Yeah, hour and 20 minutes, I guess. Probably about an hour and 20 minutes just before yeah, let's we'll see. Let's we'll see when I ordered. We put in the first order at 1:46. Put in the second one at 1:59. I think I put that in pretty much right away. So yeah, we'll say about an hour and 20 minutes. 12 more to go. Maybe dessert. We'll see how we feel. Final round. Fight. Everyone and round. I think six. Last ones we're gonna get, guys. 12. Peanut rolls, and that's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna ask about dessert. So, good enough for me. Mm. Very good though. I think they put a little bit of sweet sauce. They put in the uh, mango roll as well in this. Nice and sweet. Very good. It's amazing how much easier this is to eat compared to like a savory roll right now. Um, just because it's sweet. Like changing that up is a huge difference. That's all she wrote for me today, guys. I'm definitely satisfied. I definitely got my fill to say the least. So if you want to see what we all ordered. This is what we ordered. All the items. Totaling 150 pieces of sushi. Plus some miso roll, like miso soups, edamame, salads, whatever. You can see like the quantity and the amount. Like some of them have six pieces. There you go, that's more focus. You know, there's four times one, one times six. Etc. Etc. So, anyway, everybody, very delicious. Really enjoyed that. That's about it for today. Like I said, so if you like this video, please let me know down below. Give me a comment. Give me a like. Hit subscribe, and if you should be inclined as well, lots of food videos coming your way, guys. And uh, yeah, huge thanks to Mizu, guys. Great place. Um, we did pay twenty-seven dollars today. This was a Monday at dinner. No, Sun Wednesday. When Wednesday at dinner. Um, so yeah, plus tax and a tip. I'm sure it'll be. I don't know. 40 bucks or whatever it will be, so. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, and that, until next time, of course, happy with the hungry, happy eating in. Oh wait, maybe we'll see about ice cream in. We'll see about ice cream. And this is why you can't skip in videos, guys. Can't skip to the end, just assume. Because we got some ice cream, we got the green tea and the mango. Um, mango, as per a recommendation on their Google reviews, and the green tea is per the recommendation of the gentleman. So. It is good. If you've never had a green tea ice cream, it is, it definitely has that earthy kind of matcha green tea flavor, but it is very sweet and creamy. This one actually um, 
gives me a little bit of a, um, well, I just said it's really sweet, but it's not very sweet. But it gives me a, um, almost like a cream cheese slash like cheese foam flavor. And the mango's pretty good. It's um, kind of a flavor of that like, uh, like mango sauce, that kind of mango. Not bad. Well, anyway though, now I'll say goodbye. Of course, the next time buddy say happy, that you're happy eating. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you. Like I said, like the video, like it, comment, and until uh, next time guys, have a lovely day. Finish him. Hey everyone, so by popular request, we have some workout footage. Um, so this is just like a pull day, a very quick pull day, um, as I was trying to actually get to the sushi for the all you can eat. Um, I have a lot of injuries for those who do not know, such as like I have two really bad knees, I haven't been able to train legs in a number of years, um, and I have like bicep tendonitis, I have shoulder issues, I just have, I have all kinds of injuries. So a lot of what I do now in the gym is just trying to maintain, hopefully gain a little bit, but I can't train the way I once did. So I started with some T-bar rows. Um, I don't really like them as much because there's limited range of motion, uh, etc. Normally I do just normal rows, like barbell rows, but the racks were full, so I just did those real quick. I did about five sets. Then I came over to the lying hamstring uh, curl here. Again, I did about five sets. Um, of the lying hamstring curls and I also actually uh, supersetted it with um, these here uh, kind of like the uh, what do they call them abductor thingy things um, basically the hip openers the, for some reason it is slipping my mind at the moment um, but yeah so kind of training that glute med kind of that outside of that leg um, so again I did five sets of these as they supersetted it with the hamstring curls um, for those who are wondering my workout schedule I do a push pull or pull push whatever kind of way you want to look at it and then I have an off day so this is generally I do like for example today I did the pull day then I would do a push day and then have a day off and that's basically that and then just rinse and repeat so on a pull day I would do things like back hamstrings um, biceps hypothetically anything which you'd pull essentially and then the push day would be anything that you used to push such as like your triceps your chest your shoulders I then did some bicep curls again I did about five sets um, so and again just kind of a varying uh, weight um, I do generally try to track uh, my progress however when I do like in, and the weights I'm using but when I go to a lot of different gyms some things are universal like a dumbbell a 35 dumbbells a 35 pound dumbbell but when you're using different machines or anything like that it's more difficult and that's why generally like I said I like to stick with like barbell rows for kind of the main compound movement um, and you know just some dumbbells or whatever it may be also time limiting and again I have a number of uh, like butt tendonitis and um, just other another couple issues uh, in my forearms um, and arms um, like pains not diagnosed uh, but I should probably like, well I've been dealing with them for a few years I'll put it that way um, yeah I generally wear sweaters at the gym I figure I actually really only took my sweater off because most people, for some reason on YouTube, again, want to see gym footage, so I figured, okay, well, let's rock a tank top, get some curls. Um, I'm not the leanest I have been, but I am quite lean, and especially when I have a bit of a pump, um, it does show some vascularity. Um, however, again, after about the five sets of curls, then we headed on over, and I did what you could call some basic kind of rack pulls. Again, the racks were kind of busy, so I just kind of used this bench. Um, I had uh, some, I, I always have very weak hands. I have small hands, they're always my weakest link. And today, I literally, as you just saw in camera, I just kind of got a blood blister. Um, so I was having some real issues with the grip. So I did some shorter sets. Uh, didn't have a set of uh, straps, but if I did, I would have been able to do some more volume. 
Um, and then I just did some pull-ups. I did, uh, again, five sets of pull-ups. Um, again, very basic, very standard. Generally, if I had a weight belt, I would like to do these weighted, and then I would reduce the volume a little bit. Um, but basically, uh, you work with what you have. And then because, well, just because people are probably wondering what's going on, then this is just what I was looking like that day, simply put. And that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of gym footage. Let me know if you want to see some more down below. And uh, that, thank you for watching. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.